And today, guys, we have a brand new style of villager breeder. We need it for 1.11 village and pillage. This guy here works super awesome. It's going to be pumping villagers like mad. It's very simple. MCPE and bedrock for the win. Hey there, guys. Skippy here for room Skippy 6 Gaming. Let's turn this off because of ticking. Arr! We are doing a brand new villager breeder, guys. This is because village and pillage has changed the way that villagers breed. Notice we have zero doors going on in this build because doors are not what you need anymore. Guys, for this one here, let's go for 443 likes. If you are one of those dudes, don't forget to hit me up below. Guys, Twitter is the best spot to catch me on the Twitter. And uh, yeah, you'll get notified of all my newest updates, uploads, and let's play. So uh, I'm going to tell you what you need. We're going to build this. It's pretty simple. Like I said, I have my tick speed turned up, guys. This is not how fast it is. I have my tick speed turned up big time. Uh, they will come one villager at least every five minutes. One villager every five minutes, 20 villagers an hour. Simple math. I have them really like, you know, uber jacked up right now, but yeah, no, just for now. So I'm going to tell you what you need, guys. For this build, you're going to need two glowstone, uh, one stack of glass, one sticky icky piston, two observer blocks, eight beds. Eight beds is the magic number. One hot Hopper, two chests, one item frame, at least one stack of carrots or something to give to the villagers to breed. I would recommend like five, sta five stacks, uh, one lever, one dispenser, two buckets of water, and a trap door, including four villagers just bring four villagers any villagers you want you'll notice they don't have any uh they don't have any professions or anything they might if they do have a profession or if they don't have a profession it's totally irrelevant the baby villagers will still come let's make this guy now and now we are ready to build this bad boy guys it's a very simple one kind of simple one let's start with a little three by three square we're gonna do this first things first look at this skippy has to be a noob why'd you be a noob skippy Bring your solid blocks of choice here. So we want this glowstone on the bottom because we don't want anybody uh, having any mobs spawning. We just want to have light. So you know what? We don't use too much in this entire build. So let's just use that one there to start it off. Go ahead and build your wall up. You don't need the corners, but we'll, we'll get there in a second. Uh, this guy here, this guy here. So what we want to do is be one off the floor. Pop up, pop, pop, pop like that. See that? And then keep your square going around. We want to keep this guy in a circle again beds are key for this there's no more doors involved i think i like it i think i like it a lot that way personally up here guys go ahead and uh ding 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 ding, ding. they're gonna be standing there right and we're gonna be blocking them in right there once this is done like this this is a good chance to go ahead and put your uh put your dispenser down because you can't do it once there's villagers in there go ahead dispenser facing forward get this guy out like this bingo bango bongo like this and this is where your villagers go guys nice and easy make sure you have nothing holding them back like this that's good stuff go ahead and uh yeah let's keep going let's keep building this up around around let's do this let's do this let's do this let's do this all the way around 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 so we are gonna this is where the, the fun comes in so we, what we want is a repeating signal so what we want is a repeating signal from these observers so let's go like this first bang bang and then we turn it around bang bang like this see what we got so now we have a repeating signal you can see it there you can hear it going a tick 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 we want that to stop so let's go ahead and take this i'm using a stupid summer a spring skin i don't know why so what we want to do is put this guy here like this bang take this guy like this grab yourself we want to make that ticking noise stop right so go like this bingo bango bongo boom so now look at that no more ticking. This guy here is going to hold all of the carrots because that's where all of the carrots go. We feel good about it. Go ahead and grab that one hopper, dropper, dropper, hopper and do this. Once we do this, we're going to feel pretty good about it. We're going to actually go one lower around here, actually. So let's do this hopper here because you're going to want a lot of carrots, guys. This thing is going to go through carrots like a like a whatever, a carrot monger. Crouch down, bang, and bang. This is going to be holding your carrots. You could put this guy here and, uh, yeah, use that for carrots. Now let's put the beds, guys. I'm going to get rid of one layer here. This will actually, no babies will escape in this one. And this is where your eight beds are going to go. I use four villagers and eight beds. This is literally, that's my math. And honestly, it goes really, it goes pretty good. Because as long as you're taking the villagers away, basically that's the goal. As long as there's, as long as there's a space for them to go. So if you have 
say you had five villagers here and five beds, it wouldn't breed anymore. You need to always have a bed for each villager. So bang, look at this. Beautiful, super sexy, super sexy. So on this one here, I go like this. Let's go like this, bang. Put yourself with the one water source there. Once you have your one water source there, this is gonna be actually easy. They're all gonna come down here. So bring them down a block like this block them in like this and you can see we don't want it to spill out but make sure you go you know at least seven or whatever it is i don't i don't want it to drop down because we're using uh we use this void world and i find that if water pours down sometimes it's not very good in this void world for lag but you can see what's going to happen right here is we're going to go ahead and grab our trap door bust this guy out trap door once we do that that feels good go ahead and break this guy out bang water here and all the way down hopefully it doesn't pour it won't pour that's great i love it and yes so once this is done we know that we want all the babies to come through here no grown-ups are going to come through here so you don't have to worry about it too much everything would be good if you just lock it down like this we can actually get rid of this this will just take them wherever you want to take them if you want to use minecarts use minecarts if you don't want to use minecarts don't use minecarts it's all up to you I'm going to seal it in, but pretty much we got most of the hard work done. I'm going to go ahead and just drop some villagers in. You guys can do whatever you want. They do not need a job. They do not need any of these things or any of the stuff. All they need is these beds. Don't need no workstations. Don't need any of that villager. And then, you know, you might want to uh, I'll use this and drop in. I'm going to put four. Like I said, four villagers is my magic number. It's going to give you one baby villager every five minutes you could put a few more actually if i'm if i'm actually correct but basically it's going to give you one every five minutes it's trying to understand what's going on with the beds here the way that we can actually improve this is let's just go jack up our tick speed we'll just go ahead and uh, yeah just put a thousand and then you will see exactly what happens just because we're trying to show exactly what's going on we can see everything's going good. So basically, beds are here. This is here. Why isn't it working? And that's because there's no carrots. We need more carrots. Turn this guy on. These guys are going to start hammering carrots. Once these guys start hammering carrots, you are going to be ready to go. I'm going to actually just grab some more carrots. I hope I'm not missing any important, uh, important stuff. And then the other thing is, if they're being weirdos, which sometimes they are, go down or move them around. You can see there's the hearts right there. Sometimes when they're on each other like that, it's not that good. So you can see it went through all of, it went through all of my carrots. Let's put these carrots here, and then just throw these in there. Sometimes there's one weirdo villager that's being weird. You can see it already popped out this guy right here. And you can see it went through it it never really stays stuck on the last one i did they never got stuck at all but you can see with our tick speed jacked up here these guys are pumping babies like nothing it'll be once every five minutes moving forward guys so there you go guys easy villager breeder ready to go pretty much man i like this looks sharp to me if you ask me i would recommend last but not least i did say two I did say two glowstone because I recommend that uh, if I were you, I would uh, poncho, poncho, bang. I would throw some glowstone on top of this guy. That would be the best way to do it, guys. So don't forget to smash that like. Don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel for, uh, yeah, cool tutorials, let's plays, and stuff. Thanks a lot for tuning in, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.